In this video, we'll review doffing N95 level PPE that can be worn while caring for a patient with a highly hazardous communicable disease or HHCD. By the end of this video, participants will be able to describe the step-by-step -step process of doffing N95 level personal protective equipment for individuals who will be working with or caring for patients with HHCD. It is imperative to doff in a slow, deliberate and sequential manner to minimize the risk of exposure associated with potential pathogens on the surface of the PPE. The use of a doffing checklist is recommended to maintain proper doffing sequence and minimize your risk for exposure. Prior to leaving the hot zone to doff PPE, check with the doffing partner to ensure they are ready to assist you. You should only exit the hot zone when it is confirmed safe to do so. If you have a disposable apron over your PPE, it should be removed prior to leaving the patient care area. Remove any visible contamination on the apron or PPE if an apron was not used, using a disinfectant wipe. Perform glove hygiene on the patient care gloves with a disinfectant wipe. Grasp the apron at hip level and carefully pull outward to break the tie in the back. Grasp at chest level and carefully pull forward to break the upper tie. Roll the apron in on itself so that the inside of the apron is the only surface exposed. Place the apron gently in the waste container. If thumb loops are used, you may find that your patient care gloves are removed as part of the apron removal process. If not, you should now remove your standard patient care gloves. Use a consistent method each time, such as glove-in-glove -glove technique. Gloves and other waste should be disposed of gently to avoid aerosolizing any pathogen present on the PPE. Perform glove hygiene on the long cuff gloves, rubbing all surfaces until dry. Knock on the door to alert the doffing partner you are ready to exit the room. Open the door and exit the room. Step forward from the door into the doffing space. Perform glove hygiene. Carefully remove the tape from both arms. Roll the tape up prior to putting it into the waste container so as not to allow the adhesive side to stick to the bag lining the waste container. If any tape was used for reinforcement of the gown, it should be removed at this point. Remove the long cuffed gloves using glove-in-glove -glove technique. Your doffing partner will release the lower and upper gown ties and roll the shoulders of the gown forward. Grasp the gown just below the shoulder on the chest and roll the gown into a bundle so the soiled outside is contained within the roll. Lean slightly forward as you remove the gown to reduce potential contact with clean clothing. Once removed, 
carefully place the gown in the waste container. Perform glove hygiene on the remaining layer of gloves. If the final layer of gloves is removed with the base layer, perform hand hygiene and don new gloves. Next, remove the face shield by pulling the strap over your head from behind. Place the shield face down into the waste container. Remove your last pair of gloves, perform hand hygiene and don clean gloves. It is very important to perform hand hygiene and don clean gloves before doffing the hood to mitigate the risk of exposure, as hands will be in close proximity to the mucous membranes during doffing of the hood. Doffing partner should now release the ties on the hood. Remove the hood by reaching under the hood and pushing it off while bending forward. Once removed, gently place the hood in the waste container. There are multiple methods for removal of your boot covers. If you are tired, ask your doffing partner to assist you in removal rather than risking self-contamination. Self-removal can be accomplished in a seated position by one of two methods. Either Untie the bows securing the covers at each ankle. Then perform glove hygiene. Slide your hands inside the cover and maneuver the cover down the leg and off the foot. Place the cover directly in the trash and move your foot into a clean area of the doffing space. Perform glove hygiene to prevent cross-contamination. Remove the second boot cover using the same technique as used for the first boot cover and place in the trash. Remove your gloves and perform hand hygiene. Alternatively, after the bows are untied and glove hygiene has been performed, Grasp the outside of the cover and carefully work it down the leg and over the foot, placing it gently in the waste container. Remove the second boot cover using the same technique as used for the first boot cover and place in the trash. Do not cross your legs during removal to avoid contaminating your unprotected clothing. If you require assistance, you should stand with one foot on a raised surface and your doffing partner can remove the boot covers for you. With any of these methods, as the boot covers are removed, you should step into a clean area of the floor. When the covers have been removed, the doffing partner needs to perform hand hygiene. Now remove your gloves, Perform hand hygiene and don a new pair of gloves. To remove the N95, you should lean forward slightly. First remove the bottom strap, then remove the top strap. The top strap is removed last to prevent the respirator from flipping back onto the face. With both straps removed, carefully place the N95 into the waste container. Finally, remove your gloves, discarding them in the waste container, and perform hand hygiene. After PPE has been removed, it's the doffing partner's responsibility to clean up the area. To do this, the partner will wipe away any area that may have been exposed to contaminated PPE with disinfectant wipes and dispose of the wipes in the waste container. After cleaning the area and managing waste, the doffing partner would doff gloves, perform hand hygiene and don new gloves. Follow your organization's protocol for waste management to remove waste generated during the doffing process. Follow your organization's protocols for cleaning and disinfection to process the area for subsequent use.